guys, welcome to another week on the plot. It's coming up for a year that we've had the plot now. This week we have been mostly picking berries, but I've got a few other jobs around the plot to do today, so I thought I'd bring you with me. This sweet pointed pepper plant in the greenhouse isn't doing so well. It's got quite an aphid infestation on it, so I've been spraying it with the garlic spray. It hasn't done very much and it's just all got a bit sticky now, so I'm going to wash all of the leaves off today. Some of the leaves are just so densely covered, I think the best thing to do is just take them off. So I've taken a couple off, you can see there are a lot on there. And I don't want it to spread to all the other plants in the greenhouse. The spaghetti squash is doing really well, but I'm trying to encourage it to move over this way a bit because it's growing right inside where the um, potatoes are. I've heard that you should plant it under the corn, which is probably what I'll do next time. So it does seem to be doing well in there. Our courgettes are coming along nicely too. So I've got two plants here. There's the F1 Defender and there's another one which was uh, free seeds that I got on front of a magazine. So far they're both doing really well and I haven't really seen much difference between them so it'll be interesting to see as time goes on if one of them produces more. We've been doing loads of picking and harvesting and when I pick something I always put it up onto Instagram so make sure you're following me over there and then in the evening when I finish at the plot I usually take a photo of whatever I've picked and stick it up there so you can see it. It's just starting to rain now but it is actually quite warm so I'm gonna, gonna carry on down here. It's nice and quiet when it's raining you kind of get the sight to yourself. So although we had a really good um, strawberry harvest Shed doors nearly hit me. The season for the strawberries only lasted possibly three weeks, but the raspberries are still coming thick and fast, and we're picking them like every other day, and we've had an awful lot. So this is what we've picked today. I do find with transporting the raspberries, they need to generally not be in anything as deep as this, because they start to get squashed. But these are going for jam, so I'm not too concerned today. And it is raining, so it's good to just chuck them in here as quickly as we can. These onion potatoes, they are a main crop, but they've pretty much died back. So what I'm going to do is have a look and see what's going on under there. This is my favourite part where you scrape back the soil and find the potatoes. Such fun. So I think I've pretty much got them all, but what I am going to do is now get my little fork in. I didn't want to do that straight away because I didn't want to spear any of the potatoes if I could help it. I've got the tiniest potato there. I think there must have been loads of these left in from last year because we've seriously got potatoes coming up all over the plot at the moment. So even though that's tiny and probably won't get eaten, I want to get it out of the plot. I can see that if I had grown them in pots then I wouldn't have quite so much hunting around to do. So this is a few that I got. I think it's just as well it's only the two of us. There's still more plants to um, dig up but I really wanted them to grow for a little while longer but they've just started dying back so um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure what what would have caused that but at least the crop isn't totally ruined you know there are some potatoes under there although I really imagined that I wouldn't be digging them for another couple of weeks yet but the leaves and everything have died back now so they're not really going to get any bigger but I'm just going to leave them in the ground until I need them thanks for watching guys have a great week